All right, everybody, check it out. We're back at your question number two on the eighth grade science test. Now, I love diagrams, they always giving us visuals, but when they give us visuals, sometimes people panic and they get really nervous, especially on the eighth grade test, okay? Believe it or not, this is a very easy question. It's very commonsensical. You just gotta know where to look for the clues, all right? Look what it says. It wants to know on which date will the next new moon occur? But they give us this diagram and it shows us, okay, on the first quarter, it's July 8th. Okay, so July 8th is the first quarter. We see half of the moon is exposed. Okay, on July 16th, we have a full moon. Okay, the last quarter is on July 24th. The other side is exposed. And finally, we get a new moon in July on July 31st. Okay, now, key things you want to look at. They give us four choices. They give us August 5th, August 10th, August 19th, August 29th. Now, let's say you don't know anything about science, but you do know something about sequence. Okay? July 8th would correspond to which date in August? Well, it would correspond to August 5th. Okay, so right there, you know the first quarter in August would be July 8th, August 5th. What would be the next date? Let's look at the choices. Well, August 10th would correspond to a full moon. Okay? And then finally, the last quarter is July 24th here, but it would correspond to August 19th here. So, if you want to scratch choices, the next new moon would have to be August 29th. See how fast? No problem. All right, do you really need to know about the phases of the moon? Not really, all you need to know is common sense. All right.